well. Um, Harry Kane went off injured today. It looked like a, looked like a serious hamstring injury. Mm. Is that good news for Troy Parrott? Well, it'd have to be, wouldn't it? Um, like at the moment, like I know it's January now. Do you know what I mean? And it depends really the agreement that Danny Levy and, and Jose Mourinho have in terms of what is he allowed to do? What like what what what's the objective of the club? Are they looking to? Uh, improve the team without spending, or what is the the goal? I know people would say Mourinho is known for 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 getting uh, results very quickly from being allowed to spend and buy, but <coughs> it depends what Daniel Levy's talking because Daniel Levy's known to be very tight um, with money. But at the moment, yeah, it's good for Troy because there's no one really else. Do you know what I mean in the squad? So I'd say it's it's a positive, yeah. Yeah, you'd certainly at least expect them now to make the bench like eight against Everton <coughs> in November and obviously they've got the FA Cup now this weekend against lower league opposition Middlesbrough, you think that's a golden opportunity. I suppose you could be looking for any views, Spurs might win the trophy, the FA Cup realistically is their best chance of the season, so they could be going for that. Obviously Son is now back from his suspension, Lucas Moore, they can adapt into that road. I know they are a little bit tight in um, cash as far as obviously with the stadium, I still would expect them probably to go in for a striker in January, but you have to think there's definitely going to be an opportunity for him to at least be involved in the match day squad now and you know, hope that Mourinho might go against his policy of old and, and invest him because he did play him in the Premier League briefly against Burnley like, so he obviously does think something of him and hopefully that will give him more <coughs> chance in January and for the rest of the season uh, I do think he's going to get an opportunity particularly this weekend in the Cup but uh, a long move could be a good thing for him a club maybe champion, lower championship league one somewhere like Portsmouth he definitely get an opportunity playing up front with Roman Curtis as well which would be good for, for Ireland as well um, he needs game time really if he wants to develop a bit more so whether he gets out Spurs or not it's there to be seen because Mourinho is probably going to buy if Kane is injured for a significant amount of time <coughs> What about Middlesbrough and maybe hook up with Robbie Keane and I know they've had, they're on a great run they've won their last four games but they had made a poor start to the season so maybe and, and they have problems scoring goals so maybe that, is that a, what you think is that an option yeah it could be a good one as well because obviously Jonathan Woodgate being their manager he's got Spurs connection as well as I mentioned after a, a tough time there they've turned things around did another very good win against Preston today it, it could be a good one like I probably would agree more with Paul I think the fact he's still only turning 18 as well now in February even if he's got to League 1 just like with Harry Kane <laughs> he's at similar age just gave a little bit of confidence of him. I wouldn't even knock a move to someone like, you know, as Paul said, even a Portsmouth or even like a Fleetwood or an Ipswich or anyone else like that, just to kind of get his confidence. But if there's going to be game time from up in Spurs, who knows? But I think, realistically speaking, he will be better off getting a loan move if he really wants to get a lot more first team action, especially if Mick has any aspiration of playing him in the qualifiers in, or the playoffs in March. Mm. Well, I've always said, like, because people always say, why doesn't the the Irish team play like the under 21s or um, why aren't the players coming through that are playing a certain type of football and I always put down that this time of the career is really important where Irish players are in, in youth academies and they play a certain way at those clubs but obviously they're not getting the opportunities because money is being brought in and managers need to succeed now so then they get put down to lower league clubs where it's a long move or I think sometimes it can end up being permanent because then if he goes alone and then someone's bought his birds, then he's he's out of the picture and then he's going to be playing a certain that certain certain type of football in League One, League Two, Championship where they have to survive and uh, win games a certain way, and that then breeds. Then you look at the Irish players now, the assets they bring to their teams are teams that are trying to survive or mid table or do you know what I mean? So I think it's really important what he does now. Um, I think he should stay and try to push himself into the team that's what I think but whether that'll happen or not I, I, I don't know but where does that where does that leave us for March then I know Mick <coughs> Mick has given him a run out against New Zealand he was on the bench against mm. Denmark Aaron Connolly yeah. has, has started competitive games for us do we what does he need to do to <coughs> maybe feature against Slovakia? It's a tricky one as well because you have to remember as well the 21s have a double header in March well, and they're in a great position to at least get a playoff. Like So Stephen Kenny will be, will be trying to find hard to keep hold of him. I know he's got Adam Ida there as well. You've probably got to look at it and say to yourself because he's playing a good bit more Premier League football, my club of probably has to be ahead of him in the uh, pecking order in terms of the senior team. Like So it is a, 
a tricky one as you mentioned if you was to get a break into Spurs or was to get that lower move from scoring goals it is quite hard but I'd be off the point of view that this 21 seems very talented they can get to a major tournament if we can get our 19 year old lads 21 year old lads 20 year old lads getting experience at a major tournament only going to stand some more so in the future and I think that's really where I, I would prefer to see Troy Parrish in March I agree I think he should stick it out with the 21s or still <coughs> They're in a great position at the minute and they need all the players they can to help them out. Whereas with the senior team, we've got McGoldrick, as we just spoken about, Shane Long, Oberfame, he's getting into the Southampton team as well. Probably best keeping the players who are playing constantly week in, week out. Part sticks with the 21s. Probably better from at this moment in time as well. Yeah. Um, I think in regards to Troy playing as well with the 21s, I think um, it's his best chance really to kind of push, uh, push now on, kind of say to Oden Reno, you know, like, I, 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 please don't go out and buy in or look to shit me off. I, I want to prove myself now that I have this opportunity. And uh, really trying to, because once he gets that in, there won't really be an argument then that if he's playing at least a few games for Spurs, there won't be an argument that he can play for the Irish team then come uh, March. And do you know what I mean? That, that could change everything then, you know? Um, so if you turn into a prospect then into form from a prospect into probably one of our better players then you know well okay thanks guys and, and what do you think do you think that Troy should go out on loan should he stay and hopefully start or at least feature <coughs> for Tottenham in the next few weeks and come March would you like to see Troy in Bratislava with the, the senior team or with the under 21s and Tala at home to Iceland and away to Luxembourg um, is qualifying for a tournament for the under 21s should that be I'm not saying as important as qualifying for the Euros but a, a major factor in this decision rather than having Troy on the bench so give us your thoughts in the comments thank you <laughs>